Hello everybody and welcome back to Solve a Case 2. Now in the last episode, I guess that's my cue to keep going, so I need to go to the main exhibit hall and then I can read the history of Strata Castle. Um, so yeah, um, in the last episode we did a redstone puzzle. We did a lot actually. Um, I probably should have split that into two videos, but you know what, it's fine. I can if I have to. Alright, now what's going on? Main exhibit hall. The grand ballroom. Hall of wizardry. Um, I would like to find the main hall. It shouldn't be that hard to find, but it is for some reason. Kitchen, right here. The dining hall. I was just here. There's my truck. Is this it? The exhibit hall. There you are. Good to see the dining room is complete, and I heard you are the one who fixed the intercom. Very good. Have you gotten the book from Jamie? Yes, but I haven't read it yet. Um, well, you should read it. Why don't you take a break and do that now? Okay. Click that after you read the book. Or summary. I'm going to read this summary. Um, this book is extremely long. If you just want to skip to the most important facts, just skip to the last three pages. Alright. Summary. Haven Riddle, Haven and Riddle were two young residents of the town of Fort For Sect. Both were very intelligent and skilled in survival. The town was struck by an by an earthquake. Riddle and Haven offered to help rebuild, but the mayor said they were too young. That evening, Riddle and Haven set out hunting only to discover warriors nearby planning to loot the town. They warned the townspeople, who were then able to defend. Mayor lost his job. A year later, the town was rebuilt, and Haven and Riddle, on their wedding day, were asked to rule. Uh, they accepted and the town flourished. The castle now is passed down to the eldest daughter in each generation and is a symbol of hard work, dedication, leading to all things. <laughs> well, what do you think? Interesting. Of course, it is only a brief history. The complete version could have you reading for weeks, but I think you get the gists. After all that Riddle and Haven went on many adventures, together, making the town well renowned in the area. I can see that from the art, all the artifacts around here. There are more artifacts that still have yet to be unpacked, which brings me to your next task. In the storage room on the second floor, there is a chest with some, with some artifacts that need to be sorted into proper bins so they can be put onto display. If you could do that, it would be a big help. Maybe I should check out the armory too while I'm up there. It may have some useful items for me. Okay. Storage room. Okay. Ugh. So I'm just, um, in the storage room, there's a chest with some artifacts that need to be stored into the proper bin so they can be put into display if you could do that. Okay, so then I just need to break these, then I guess and it'll do things, I guess. Oh, there's just crates, okay. Alright, yeah, this isn't too hard, I just have to do this. Alright. Okay, yeah, then it doesn't look like they're sorted into a certain... Um, okay, the library's pretty obvious, books and bookshelves. The war room, an arrow. Capture banner. Um, music box. Library would be the reading chair. Wizard wand would be the wizard room. I'll just take everything out of everything, I guess. Alright. So, okay, more reading chairs, library. Library is always pretty obvious. 
arrows would be the war room. Wizard room would be the wizard wand, obviously. Armor stand. Armor stand would be main hall. No. No, probably the war room. What? Oh. Okay. Well then, yeah, armor stand goes in here. Okay. Cool. Uh, music box. Where would that go? Would that go just in here? Okay. And then just the display panes, yeah, that's right, because that place displays places, and then the mysterious crystal. Well, that looks like everything... That looks like everything. Better head out. Maybe I can do some snooping while everyone's busy. I don't remember this being in here when I came in. You think to yourself, maybe I should do a little snooping around here to see where this key could go. Uh, for my queen. I will always be right next to you as we sit on the throne. So then the king and queen's bedroom... Aha! What? A secret door? Whoa, it's really dark. A garden of some sort. Looks to be abandoned for many years. Who are you? What? Who's there? I said, who are you? I'm Red Fire Dragon 51. Who are you? Where are you? I don't see you. I'm by the water fountain in the back, far back corner. I can't see anything. This water fountain? This? Okay, you still haven't answered my- what? Can't you see me? Uh, all I see are particles. Well, that is me. I am Queen Riddle. What? No, that is not possible. Yes, it is. Do you not believe your own eyes? I would believe them better with some light. Hold for a moment. Whoa, how did you- Like I said, I am Queen Riddle, and this is my secret garden. Now, Redfire Dragon 51, what are you doing here? I, 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 I'm here to help Gretchen Strata uh, restore the castle I'm an architect's tex texture. Come now. Do you really think? I believe the whole student thing. This is my castle. I hear all that goes on here. You are a detective, and you have come to discover who it is that stole my helm. To be quite honest, I am quite curious as well. Wait, did you leave that key for me to find? Precisely. You see, there is more going on here than just a missing helm. My sword, in fact, is missing as well, which I only found out moments ago, and you will find out when you return to my great-great, well, Gretchen's office, after our little conversation. If you can hear everything going on in this castle, how come you don't know who's, who is behind all of this? I cannot leave this garden. It is where I belong. Therefore, I can only hear, not see what happens. Have you ever heard a thief? They wouldn't be very good if you if you could hear them. True. Now I have a third task for you. I want you to find out. No, I have a tat, not a third. What? <laughs> I want to. F I want you to find out who's stealing the artifacts, as you are already doing. But I also want you to find out why. You see, I sense something is not quite right with all of this. If you could do so, I'd be most appreciative. I'm gonna cut that out. Oh man, I just coughed so hard. Um, I'm not gonna do the voice anymore. Well, what can I say? I guess so. Good. Now, before you leave, I must ask you a favor. Do not tell anyone about me. I am not ready to reveal myself. Oh, and you can leave the key on the wall. It has special magic power properties that only those I want to see the entrance can see uh, it on the wall. Feel free to make use of anything you can find in this garden. Good luck, Red Fire Dragon 51. I hope to hear from you soon. There's nothing really in here, except for arrows, so, I mean, I could eat the books. <laughs> Red Fire Dragon 51, could you please come to my office? I have some inter interesting artifacts to show you. Isn't- wait. Hold on, isn't this you, though? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Well, I finally tested the diamond sword. It's a forgery as well. You don't look all that surprised. 
Well, it stands to reason that if the thief got away with one forgery, they, they would try to get away with another. True, very true. Well, then it's a good thing that I have Harold the Electrician hooking up those security cameras. Yes. Well, it's rather late, and if I recall, you haven't eaten all day. Why don't you head down to the kitchen and make yourself some food? That sounds like a good idea. And while you're at it, you can make some food for the other folks around here. I suppose I could. Great! You need not worry about the construction workers. Uh, they have their own stuff. Here's a list of what everyone wants. I'd make it myself, but I have business to attend to. Just make the food and deliver the it to them. Goodbye. I am freaking their slave. Like, seriously. <laughs> what the heck? I keep trying to jump on there. I'm pretty sure it's not possible. Alright. Dining room. I need to go into the kitchen, though. Alright. I don't need you. I have a ton of stuff. Food orders. Harold, pork chop, and baked potato. Ah. Hey, look. Scorched bill. Construction crew. $1,000 paint. Food. Staff. $11. <laughs> what? Okay, so here's all the fridges with all the stuff. Open all the fridges. Alright. Pork top and baked potato. Alright, pork. Pork, pork, pork. It's gonna be right here. So then why don't I just put one in and one in. And then I was there. Yeah, coal in there. Okay. And um, where's where did I put the pork chop? Oh, right there. Or the potato is what I meant. Um. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So while those are cooking, steak and baked potato. Okay. I'm just gonna cook a bunch of baked potatoes just in case. Um, oh, is that the intercom? Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Um, what was it? Uh, steak and baked potato. Alright, raw beef. Okay. Steak and baked potato, mushroom stew and bread. Oh, mushroom stew, right here. And then there was something else in bread, so I'm just gonna make a ton of bread. Alright. And chicken and bread, that's what it was. Alright, steak, pork... Potatoes. And chicken. Okay, that should be everyone. So then Harold wants a pork chop. How do I give it to them, though? Okay, hold on. Pork chop, baked potatoes. So two baked potatoes. Okay. I definitely have that. Um, one pork chop, one steak. One pork chop, one steak. One mushroom stew, one bread, or two bread, two bread, one mushroom stew, and a chicken. I have everything, so the dining hall, should I just put it here? I don't know where to go. Do I just, I, maybe I just have to give it to them straight up. Oh, Queen Riddles is back there forever now. Um, okay, maybe I just go to their rooms and they take it, maybe? I guess, that's fine. Alright. Here's your dinner. Thank you. 
Could you radio the gate, man? The bridge is down. Yes, certainly. Just deliver Harold and Jamie's good food if you haven't already first before you head back to the gate. Study. Servants. The lounge. Command. Harold, I got your dinner. Thank you, Red Fire Dragon 51. How are the new security cameras coming along? Slowly but surely, they're going up. Would be nice if I wasn't the only working on it. Ah, oh, well. Don't any of the construction workers come help? Absolutely not. They spend all their time in that old guard tower. Interesting. Well, I best be off. I think it's Harold who did it. Excuse me, I have your food. Thank you, Red Fire Dragon. Out of curiosity, how did Miss Strata come to own this castle? By inheritance, of course. It has passed down in, in our family from eldest daughter to eldest daughter. My aunt, my mother's sister, was the eldest, so the castle went to Gretchen. Must take a lot to maintain a castle. It does, but that is for Gretchen to handle. I tried to help her as much as possible with the bills, but oh well. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm supposed to go to the gate. Um, I don't know why I made all this food. I guess, has it all been gotten? One... Oh, the gate man. Okay. Closed. How? The door's closed and the bridge is down. I'll have to ask someone... Oh, I guess the door's open now. Can I not, like, touch the water? <laughs> okay. Hello there. Hello, I hear you have food for me? Yes, here you are. Thank you, I've been stuck here once again all day. Isn't there another person to run the bridge? No, Jamie told me that the young person came down with the flu or something, so here I am. Oh my, well I better head back inside. Later. Something is not right here. Jamie, I told you I have this handled. I just wanted to be sure that writing this check is okay. Sounds like an argument. But they don't know I can hear that. Maybe I should listen in. Of course it's fine. Our money troubles are not bad. I showed you the bills versus how much we have. We are fine. Whatever you say, Gretchen. I'm going to head down to the library. I want to organize some more of the books. Well, I'm going to check in with Harold and see how those security cameras are coming along. You left the intercom on again, Shrada. Intercom clicks off. This may be a good... Time to do a little snooping in their offices. Ooh. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to do the snooping in the next episode. Hold on. Now it's brighter. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! Jeez, my voice. See you guys.